109 Douglas County homes were lost in the Archie Creek fire, and now one of those families who lost their home is speaking out about what it's like to lose everything. And KEZI 9 News reporter Vita Garza shows us how the family is staying positive as they continue to pick up the pieces. There was really, really nothing left. There was like really nothing left. Ash, scraps, and lost memories. Jose and Shauna Fabella tell me that was all that remained of their little home because of the Archie Creek fire. We found one coffee cup out of all of it, and I'm going to make a shadow box for it. The couple and their four kids lived in a trailer park near Susan Creek for the last two years. They learned their house was one of the first to go up in flames, and many of their sentimental items went with it. My baby books and my wedding dress and all of the kids' toys and, you know, things that I wish I would have thought of to grab. But Shauna and Jose tell me this tragedy isn't going to stop them from moving forward. With help from the community, the Fabellas tell me they found a permanent new home right here in Myrtle Creek. From furniture to diapers, they say their home is filled with donations, but it will never replace all the things they lost. It was, it was something hard to explain expect hard to accept hard to it's just hard to take it take it in all as a way to give back to the community that helped them in their time of need jose says he was inspired to become a firefighter himself he just finished his certification now he's waiting to be sent to fight the archie creek fire if there's anything i could do to help other people this, this is my way Trying to help something. Shauna tells me she couldn't be prouder of her husband. She says this is his way to take revenge on the flames that took everything from them and get the closure they need. We can definitely remember our home as it was and all the memories that we had there. In Douglas County, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News.